All right, so the next part of this project is this a vacuum fluorescent display, 20 by 2, 5 by 7 dots with the cursor, as you can see, the little bar underneath. You can actually just about see the little filament wires going across. That's a NEC D one six three one four AGJ dash double O two controller on it. <coughs> it's set up to use SPI. It's made by Samsung. It's quite easy to get hold of. That's the model number there. Got it on eBay for about fifteen quid, I think it was. So about twenty-five US dollars, something like that. It's got all the electronics on board for the filament voltage and the high vo higher voltage for the VFD. So I don't have to worry about any of that. So the next project is to wire it up and see if we can get it to do something. Okay, what I've done for now is I've just hooked up the power. So pin 0, which is the green wire, is ground. Pin 1, which is the yellow wire, is plus 5 volts. I'll show you something. Hopefully if the camera will pick it up. Just turn the lights off. I'll have to turn the camera light off. I don't think I can do that while I'm recording. Nope. Okay. So the camera light's off now. I'm going to connect the power. Now let's see what I'm doing here. I don't know if you can see this. Ooh, just... There you go. Those red lines <coughs> are actually filament wires are glowing red hot inside the tube. And I say tube because this is essentially a vacuum tube. It's quite interesting how they work. I'll go and have a look it up on the internet. There's no point in me explaining it. Somebody else can do a much better job. Oh yeah. I know that uh, Onboard voltage converter is working, so let's try and get it to display something. Okay, so we're going to go for a bit of a moment of truth here. I'm pretty much out of I.O. pins on this. So, I've wired to the analog pins. It's pin, um, so, I'm just going to upload one of the example sketches. As you can see, if I can find it, there it is. Analog pins 15, 16, and 17. So, this is either gonna work or fail. Hey, look at that! Brilliant! Kind of a nice bluish green colour, doesn't look the same on the camera it's actually a bit more green than it looks on the screen so the camera won't focus properly so I'm going to try and include that in my main programme the idea is the big this is actually not going to be little LED, it's going to be a massive LED display. Like each digit will be about the size of an A4 sheet of paper. And then this is just going to be like a little information display underneath showing uh, maximum and minimum temperatures, today's date, stuff like that. Little messages. Ah, should be good. I'm happy with that. I can leave the eBay seller some good feedback. Right, because I didn't say it, the easiest way to find the library that I use for this 
is to Google that Arduino SPI VFD. It's a very handy library written by Adafruit, possibly. I don't know. So you go there and you get a link to GitHub. <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced. So you just click your downloads button. Yeah, download the source and install it. There's plenty of tutorials around on how to install it. Arduino library. It's not hard. So there's plenty of example code in there on how to do various things, scrolling, dimming, um, flashing the display and all sorts of stuff, so it's ideal. So whoever wrote this has done a good job, brilliant. See you later.